Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to insert data to SQL table using SQL language. And then we will also see how to insert multiple rows to SQL server table. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to insert data to a SQL table. And then we will also see how to insert multiple records using a SQL query. And then we will also see how to insert data into one table from another table using a SQL query. So let's jump to the demo. So if you are following the video tutorials in this particular series, then I have already told you in last few videos like how to create the SQL server table. So today the first step after creating a table will be to insert the data so that once the data will be inserted, then we can work on, for example, how we can delete the data, update or select the data from the SQL server table. But the first step will be to insert the data. So in this particular example, I'm going to create an employee table onto the SQL database, which exists on my SQL server to the 19 instance. And uh, then we will try to insert the data. So we are going to create an employee table. And these are the columns employee ID, which is of type integer. And the column is of type identity. So while inserting the data into a SQL server table, whose column type is identity, so we don't need to explicitly insert a value into the that particular column what will happen that the value of the identity it will be auto incremented so this column is kind of auto incremented and the value will be provided by the sql server itself okay and now the second column is the first name so the data type is worker and the length is 100 so we can provide a value here to the first name and remember while providing a value to the worker data type we need to enclose the data in the single quote. And now another column is the last name. So this is also of type worker 100. And while providing the value to the last name, we need to enclose the data in the single quote. If you are writing an insert query and we are providing some explicit value to the last name. And for example, if you are selecting the data from another table, then we don't need to, uh, for example, enclose the column in the single quote. So I will show you both the options in few minutes. And now the next column is age and the data type is integer. So while inserting the data to a numeric column, for example, integer or money or float, we don't need to enclose the values in a single code. So we can just directly provide the value. For example, we can provide a value as 20 or 25 or whatever the age is. And now the last column is date of joining and the data type is date here. So we can provide a date in the single code, okay, in any format like YYYY, MMDD. Or we can provide the date in any format like mm, dd, y, 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 okay. So we will see like providing these values. So let's select this particular query and click on execute. So the employee table got created here. And now if you will select the data from this particular table, so you can see that the table is empty as of now, okay. So now let's try to insert the data to the employee table. So the query to insert the data into a table will be insert into table name. So I can copy the table name from here. So after providing the name of the table in the bracket, we can provide the list of columns whose value you want to insert. So our first column is the employee ID, but because it's of type identity, so it doesn't need any input from our side. So we can skip this particular column. Now we can copy paste the second column and then the third column, last name, and then the age. So we can copy rest of the columns from here, date of joining, and we can paste it here and then we can end the bracket. So to insert the data into this particular table, we can write values bracket and then we can provide the value for the first name. So because the first name is of type worker, so we need to provide our value in the single quote. So we can use two single quote and between the two single quote, we can provide the value. For example, I can provide the value Tom here and then I can put a comma and then we need to provide the value for last name. So last name is also of type worker. So we need to provide the value in the single quote. So I can write Sorensen here. And now the next column is the age. And because age is of type integer, it's a numeric value. So we do not need to provide this value in the single quote, but we can just directly provide this value. So for example, I can provide a value as 30. And now the last column is the date of joining. And the date of joining is of type date. So we can provide the date in the single quotes. So for example, I can give the year as 2020 as year and the month I can give for example, February and the date I can give is 25. Okay, so this is the date of joining. 
now because we have started a bracket so we need to end the bracket as well so I can select this particular query and then I can click on execute so you can see that one row affected so one record has been inserted to the employee table so you can execute this query select start from employee and you can see that one record has been inserted here and the value of the employee because this was an identity so the value started from one and for rest of the records the value will be incremented so we got the value successfully inserted here now I can insert more records so for example if I want to insert one more record so I can simply copy this particular query paste it here and I can just modify these values so for example I can put another value like Matthew and uh, I can write this packer and for example I can give the value is 33 and the date of joining it can be like for example January and 2021 okay so if I execute this query now so this will insert another record okay and I can select the data again so now you can see two records here so this is how you can just insert one record at a time so this was one of the way to insert one record and the another way to insert the record will be like you can simply copy this particular query as it is and now instead of the values you can write a select query so you can write like select and then you can provide the values like the first name for example I can provide the first name as Abhishek and the second name as Kumar okay and the age for example I can provide as 28 and the date of joining I can provide here like 2021 05 14 okay so if I select this particular query so this is returning some data and because there are four columns one two three four and the first two columns they are of type worker the third column is of type integer and the fourth column this is of type date so this data can be inserted into the employee table because the columns are matching so I can just simply select this particular query and if I click on execute so the record got inserted here okay and if I select the data now so now you can see that the employee ID 3 has been assigned to the newly inserted record so here we are selecting just one record okay and then inserting into the SQL server table so this particular thing this opens a new way of like selecting data from another table and inserting into this particular table so instead of hard coding these values you can also select the data from another table and you can insert this data into the employee table okay so for example if your data is stored on another table then from the another table you can insert the data into the employee table so I have one table data here so if I show you the uh, type of data in the data table okay so I can write data here select start from data so this particular table contains like ID first name last name email age and d of j date of joining so suppose if i want to select all the records from this table which are the 1000 records and if i want to insert those records into the employee table then i can write the simple insert query like insert into employee so i can simply use this query as it is so i can write the select query here select from data so if you see here it is showing the data it is showing this invalid object name data this is because data is a keyword from the SQL server so if you do not want to see any error so you can enclose the table name in the bracket okay and now it won't throw any error and now I can select the data so the first column that I need is the first name so I can write first name okay and now the another column that I need is the last name so I can write last name and now the third column that I need is age so I can select age from here and now the last column is the date of joining so we have the DOJ here so I can write DOJ okay and now for example if I execute this particular query then it will return 1000 records and these four columns first name last name age DOJ these four columns they are required to be insert data into the employee table like first name last name age and date of joining so if I execute this particular query then it will insert 1000 records from data table into the employee table and now if you select the data from the employee table then you have 1003 records so the first three records they were inserted using the individual insert query and then 1000 records they got inserted using the another table now there is one more method that uh, you can use to insert multiple records into the SQL server table so for example here I inserted two records one by one but you can insert multiple records as well and how you can do that for example if I copy this particular query okay and let me paste it here so now what you can do 
uh, if you want to insert more records so for example if I change the name here so I can put for example Raj Kumar okay and I can leave rest of the things as it is so what I can do I can just simply put it inside a new row and then I can put a comma and then I can simply paste the multiple records here so for example if I want to insert four records so I can just change the names for example I can write like Akil Ahmed and then I can write Abhishek Kumar and then for example I can write Ashish Raghav okay and then I can just remove the last comma so when I will execute this single query so this single query will insert the four records into the SQL server table okay so let me just select this query and click on execute so it has inserted four records so you can use this query to insert multiple records if you want to provide them the value is hard coded okay so if I select the data now so you can see that we got 1007 records and the last inserted records they will be inserted in the end okay these four records and the employee ID this is auto generated okay so this is how you can just insert the data into a SQL server table using different methods you can use this method or you can just use this method or you can insert the data from another table and you this is how you can insert multiple records in a single query so I will share all these scripts with you so that you can test it in your environment as well and so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much